Hi, this is Matt from BitGem and today I want to show you how to add animations and modify our proto characters in Unity. Let's start by creating some folders to organize our model components such as materials, models, textures and animations. Now let's drag our paladin in here and organize the files. Next, let's create a material for the Paladin. I'm going to choose the Autodesk Interactive for this one. And drag the textures in. Next, let's turn off import materials on our models so we can use our new material. Now let's bring our character into the scene and apply our material. Then we'll create an animator controller and drag it into the animator controller slot on the character. Okay, let's drop our animation clips into the animation folder. We really only need the animation data, so let's control duplicate the animation data and clean up a little. Then we'll arrange our animation clips in the animation controller and tell it in what order to play the clips. All right, let's test. Looks like it's working. If you run into problems with the animations, try changing the animation type on the character to generic. Our proto characters come in big head mode per default. Now, some people have been writing to us saying that they'd prefer smaller heads, chickens. So I will show you how to do that. The object you want to scale is the head bone. You can see it in the hierarchy on the left. However, as soon as you apply animations, the head will revert to its original size. That is because the animations override the scale. To stop this from happening, you need to open up the animation clip and find the scale animation data for the head bone and simply delete it. It worked for the idle, now we have to do the same for the other clips. Now let's put that hammer in his hand, position it in his palm and then find the hand bone and drag and drop the hammer mesh under there in the hierarchy. Now let's tweak the rotation of the hammer a little bit. Et voilà! Since all our male proto characters share the same skeleton setup, it's possible to share animations between characters. So let's test it by bringing in the death animation from the archer.
All right, that worked. So in this video, we have covered how to import a character, create a material, apply animations, scale ahead, attach a weapon to the hand, and even import animations from other characters. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.